Hey everyone, it's Brenda, and I'm back with Learn to Crochet series. This is number 10, and the last one I'm going to do for this series, uh, for a beginner series, I think it covers the, pretty much the basics. Uh, once you know these, it's really kind of easy to pick up and go on. Um, of course, if you need any help with anything, you can always contact me, and I will do my best. Um, if you have any questions or want to see anything, I can also try to do my best on that too. Just leave me some comments and suggestions of something you might want to see maybe in the comment box and I will do what I can. Today we are going to work in the round. Um, from everything you've learned already you'll be able to put the pieces together to do it um, and to be able to you know create circular patterns. It's really easy so we're just going to start with a chain of four and we are going to now use the slip stitch that I taught you in the beginning which is going into the further the first chain you made the furthest one from the hook and yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook and right here you see there's a hole that is your ring see okay now I am going and we've actually learned how to do this from my flower centers already. So working in the round is, is really super easy, okay? So we're going to do a double crochet one, so we'll chain two. And we're going to do a series of, um, we'll do 10 crochets, I guess. Well, 11, we'll do 11. So there's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I'm trying to go slow. So you guys could do this with me instead of having to, uh, you know, write the directions down and go back. <laughs> Nine. And I am working over that tail, too, that was hanging below. Just make sure I have it going. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Right there. And we're we'll locking the tail again. For the eleven. And we have one more because... Uh, putting 11 in from your chain table will give you a set of 12. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. And pull that bottom string. And normally if you're going to make your flower centers at this point, you would count up your chain two and do a slip stitch right in there and that would make your round. But if you're working in the round, you will not connect them. It'll, it won't say to slip stitch to join it'll say to continue on the round. So where we're doing doubles, we're going to just continue. So you'll do your wrap and you'll find the top of that chain two and where you'd slip stitch if you were going to continue, you are just going to do a double. So you just continue working. And it would make this, but once you pull it tight, you're not going to see that step up, okay? And and you just continue along in the pattern. And this is going to make, like you could do one more row of those and it would make kind of like um, a cup like shape is the best way I can explain it. So usually when you're working in the round, you want to do your increases um, and you will follow the pattern. But I just wanted to show you how to start the next row, okay? You, it is best to, get um, stitch markers or um, uh, another piece of yarn if you don't want to spend the money on the stitch markers. It, if it's not something you're going to continually do, I would really suggest just use a scrap piece of yarn you have. Um, I can actually see where my stitch was, so I'm kind of... I use my stitch marker sometimes, but not always. 
Um, so right now, well, you know, once you make your full ending, which would be right here, I'll put a marker in so it's a little easier for you guys to see. And I'm not actually doing a pattern today. Um, I'm just kind of just showing you how to work in a circular pattern. Um, and this is more for like if you're looking for amigurami, um, that, that is really kind of the only thing, and there we are at the beginning, um, that's the only thing that you're really going to use this for, and you're never going to use double in it, you're only going to use single for the amigurami patterns, and those are like the little animals that I make and stuff, um, sometimes they're not so little, sometimes they're kind, <laughs> kind of huge, like the ones I made for, um, Daniela's Girls, those are actually medium-sized ones I make, um, I do make some bigger ones that are kind of like buddies, you know. <laughs> but, yeah, that's what you do for your amigurami. Otherwise, after you do your first set, you're going to do two. So you'll do an increase of two in each stitch, and it'll make a flat circle, okay? So I can show you how to do that, but I just want to show you that is one round. So you'd put, here, let me just show you really quick that. I, I don't want to leave you hanging on that. Um, I actually have blue yarn out here still. So what I do to mark it if I'm just going to use my blue yarn is, um, sorry guys, is I'll just drag it over your project and then I'll just continue on going into my next stitch and just keep going and this is my next row. So this way I know when I get right here, this is my, this stitch right here on top is the last one I'll do before I start my next row. That way you can still count your rows, okay? And that's for all your amigurami patterns or even your hats. Um, your, for like your Barbie dolls and stuff for the kids, these are great. Um, or for G.I. Joes too, they work. Um, but yeah, that that's how you do it. And you'd only have to, you know, for like a Barbie, you'd only go like maybe one more row and it'd be perfect for Barbie and G.I. But yep, yeah, that's it. That's how you would it help you count your rows going up. If you have any questions with that too, just let me know. And I'm gonna go back and and I'll show you your standard increase once I get there. We go. So you learned how to work in the round, and that was just to continually go around. So. This would be a last stitch when you put, you could throw your marker in there if you wanted to, and then this will be your first stitch of your second row. That's working in the round. Now, just a refresher, if you want to make your hats, or make a flat circle for maybe a coaster, or actually um, to start a doily center, this would be great. Um, or your flower center would be exactly the same. Just going to go into the top of that first stitch and slip stitch. And there you go. And that's just a refresher of your center, and you would just stitch up however many, and do um, an increase for whatever you like, depending on how you're going to do it. If you want a coaster, you would do an increase, and do an increase in each one. So you'll put two stitches in each one of the round. The second time you go around, it'll be one stitch, a single, and then two together. One apart, two together all the way around and slip stitch them together. I'm not going to show you how to do that because like I said this is just basics but I did have a question on that and I just wanted to explain it to her because she was just you know questioning it. She said she knew how to, she didn't need to see it, she just needed to explain. But if any of you need help with any of those things let me know and I will try to fit them into my schedule to do them up for you. But yeah I just want to say thank you for joining me in this beginner's crochet series. I hope you all enjoyed it and like I said if you're interested in, in seeing anything else or you need something clarified or whatever please contact me and I will get back to you as soon as I can and help you out anyway. I hope you all have a wonderful day. If you haven't subscribed please subscribe and thumbs up if you like it and uh, thanks everyone for watching. I appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Bye.